Howdy folks, Weston Ducky Outdoors here. Um, today I'm just gonna do a little bit, bit a little, a bit of a multi-species assessment here because I know there are fish in this pond because I just saw one jump up out of the water right in front of me. So what I'm hoping is to get a bunch of big bluegill and maybe I can do a catch and cook for you. Which honestly is not like people, YouTubers that do catch and cooks aren't doing it just because their viewers tell them to. They're doing it because they're freaking hungry and what they have tastes amazing. So um, I'm just fishing with a worm on a bobber and a split shot over it, a tiny little micro fishing hook. I want the best chance of catching everything that's in this pond. I'm fishing with not night crawler, it's just an earthworm, but you know. So we're just gonna thread it on this hook. Just leave a little bit of the tail or the head, whatever, out so it wiggles around. And there you go, it looks perfect. And today, my setup is um, I'm just fishing with the grit stick with my spinner on him. So, yeah, hope I get one because there's not very many fish in this pond besides the little guys. I suck at putting cameras up. You need to be turned like that. Okay. Oh shoot, I'm snagging the tree already and I haven't even cast it yet. Okay. 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 with something that probably only bluegill are going to bite it for is because the bluegill here are monsters. He's not biting right now. I'm joking. I'm not patient enough for that crap. Hey, the dragonflies are out. I don't need a wonker. I just need to get it. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up here on the dock. I'm going to be extremely careful. It's starting to fall apart, but it's my best chance of casting over to a certain spot that has a bunch of structure without getting hung on a tree. Um, this spot is literally right behind me, but if I walk over to the spot and cast from there, I'm going to get smacked in a tree, and if I just cast from here, I'm probably still going to get smacked in a tree, just not as bad, and I can probably just unsnag it there. Today's sponsor, not really sponsoring, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pack you guys. And this Dr. Pepper up here, and I'm just going to leave my rod there for now. Because I'm going to go back and get it. And I don't really have to go. 
<laughs> go back and get it. Oh, frogs. Nice. There's frogs. Okay, the thing is, I'm not really going to be able to keep on recording, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop right here and come back later whenever I catch stuff. I'm actually really excited about this because I have not, I've not caught very many fish in this pond this year, especially since the pond like sort of died out. And the fish I caught is either a largemouth or a spotted bass. I'm pretty sure it's a largey. Uh, and that's a good thing because I have a new song coming out called Largies. It's not really completely, like, I don't even have the lyrics for it yet, but, you know. We're going to see what you are. He might be a spot. I don't know. I think he's a largemouth, though. Let's, let's see. I actually can't tell. Wait, I'm gonna close the mouth really quick to see. Okay, close it. It's a large mouth. I was confused there, I thought it was a spot. The sad thing is he did swallow the hook, I think. I should still be able to get it out though because he didn't swallow it terribly. That's a large mouth for you. And I have not caught a large mouth in this, in this pond this year. I haven't caught any kind of bass in this pond this year because that's all that's in here is large mouths and spots. That makes me feel good. That really does. So I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to get get him unhooked and then see you whenever I catch another fish.